All right, guys. Here we go once again. This is our morning. Welcome to it. Good morning, Buffy. Hi. She's excited because I've been running around here like a chicken with my head cut off. It's time for a new day. I have to repair my truck before I repair another vehicle because I have to drive a long way. So it's going to be an interesting day. Got the liquid life. See you guys on the other side of the intro. I said that I had to repair my truck before I went in, before I went in, oh my goodness, before I go and repair another vehicle. Well, while Angie was here the other day, I did replace my center support bearing, that's the new black part that you see there, and I did not mark or index this piece right here when I put it back together, or when I took it apart, and so I have a very bad vibration. Ah, ah, I need to grab another tool. So I'm attempting to fix that. Okay. All right, so I'm just gonna go and I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna leave you guys right there. You can stay right there, there you go. Well guys, we are on the freeway. You're just sitting on the dashboard. You're probably gonna slide off. That's okay. If you slide off, I'll just get you later. <laughs> the vibration for the most part is gone. So that's a huge good thing because I, it was kind of like a trial and error kind of thing. It's like, well, I'm going to try this. If it works, it works. If it doesn't, it doesn't. So here we are. We are on our way to our appointment going down south and uh, drive time is about an hour. So, uh, oh, we're also going to get wet today too. Not looking forward to that. And we may not have power where we're going. Not looking forward to that. But it's work. So I won't complain about that. Oh, and, and I took a look at the vlog this morning. I changed render settings also on the actual program. So yesterday's vlog, I think, I think it was pretty freaking clear. All I gotta do now is clean my windshield. That way you guys can actually see out of it. And maybe, maybe dust my dashboard too because you're gonna be able to see every little buffy hair on that's on my dash. And you guys are slowly slipping away. You're slipping away. Come back. Two hours later. I'm at a rest stop. I have been to my job. I have gotten my job done. I'm headed back home. The truck seems to be fixed. I fixed another vehicle. I found a penny. Because, you know, find a penny, pick it up. Rest of the day, you have good luck. Um, it did not rain when I was working on this vehicle. It was supposed to have rained. Today is turning out to be a pretty fantabulous day. This is pretty awesome. I hope you guys are having a good day. This is this is great. Uh, the vlog, I haven't looked at the comments yet, but uh, I, I'm happy, I think I'm happy with the way that it turned out, uh, much clearer. I'm loving this new camera. I've talked to Josh, and I've gotten some other things figured out. Uh, we might, oh shoot, ooh, I'm almost covering the microphone. Ooh, I almost made that mistake again, sorry. Sorry! Anyway, we might end up getting a, an external microphone, I don't know, we'll see, and that will be in the future. Um, if I continue to use this, then obviously I'm going to want backup batteries and stuff like that first because this does suck the batteries like crazy. My old camera, I would go through basically a battery a day. Um, on this new, on the GoPro, it looks like I might be going through two batteries a day or unless I'm able to find a charger. And that's the nice thing about the GoPro also, it can charge. So while I'm driving, I can hook it up and the battery can charge, whereas the old camera had to be the battery had to be taken out of it and it had to go to a wall charger in order to charge that battery. So I know this is all behind the scenes stuff, not too interesting for a lot of you. So let me get back on the road. Uh, let's get home and um, let's figure out the rest of the day. Everybody right now can thank John John 91111. Why is that you ask? It's because, uh, what was it, John? Like, wow, like four years ago, five years ago, something like that, when I originally got the first GoPro, um, thanks to Josh Quillen, um, he sent me this uh, accessory kit that had all these different items in it or whatever, and I didn't think that they had the uh, 3 8 uh, tripod adapter on it, or in the kit, and it did. I looked again, so he reminded me today to look and uh, Todd Triv 27 reminded me today too. They're like, dude, you need to look to see if it's in there. And I looked and it's in there. 
So now we have a, a with the dash. I wish I would have looked last night. I would have had uh, awesome road footage today. But anyway, aside from that, you guys are mounted. And I, I think I don't need to do this because it's big enough and wide enough. Although you're looking at my dirty roof. My roof is not this dirty. It doesn't look that dirty in person. I don't know why it looks all like all like totally nasty with the camera. Um, but it's not a move truck too. So, you know, what, what, what do you expect? Um, but anyway, I don't think that I'm going to need to move it at all. So if I just set it for here and then, um, that should be okay. And then I can just like swivel it around here, tighten it back up like this. Boom, hands free. And there we go. Awesome. So speaking of hands-free, and here we go, holy cow. Oh, oh, and, and all I have to do to get out of here is just go like this, and then go boop, ah, and pop you out the side like that, and there you go. That's what you guys were, were in right there. Oh, but the wind is totally picked up, and we're supposed to be getting some, um, a lot of rain tonight. Maybe. I have to be careful how I hold this now, because I, I never want to hold it on the microphone part so okay so back inside done with the labor's part of work for the day i've set appointments things are looking up for for that um however this weekend oh and she's going to be here tomorrow i know i'm so excited she's going to be back tomorrow so that's really cool um and then we're going to have to take down like all the stuff over here all the all the all the tismus needs to go away What is Troy currently doing? I am going to grow a cactus. So, gosh, this is so funny. Hi, you wouldn't get up earlier when I called you, but oh, now that I'm talking to the camera, it's like, I want my five minutes of fame, please. See right there? Big dog head. We're gonna do red and, and I've set up the other GoPro so that we're gonna be able to get time-lapse of this. Um, so I've got my little light in here. I'm going to take some black paper and put it here. Got the uh, GoPro here. We're going to get some awesome time lapse of this crystal growing over two days' time, 48 hours. So I'm excited to do that. And then also, um, I'm going to not bore you guys with it, but you guys remember the gold. Look at that. Oh, that's so beautiful. Um, I'm going to go and go through all that again just to make sure that I got all the gold out and get all that stuff taken care of and everything put away uh, for tomorrow. So I'm, I'm wrapping up projects is what I'm doing right now. I also got through with like month end and stuff like that. So I'm gonna look for more gold. We're going to get the crystals growing, just one. So what I want to happen is I want this to be ready for Phoenix so that the next weekend that he's here, we can do the third and final crystal um, or the crystal cactus, uh, do the, the blue one. And then we can, um, he can see like all aspects of it because he wasn't here when this was pulled out. We are currently boiling water because the water is going to get put into this and then these crystals are going to get put into this and we have to mix them all up so that all the crystals are gone. And then we take this little guy here and we put it in the center there, we put the lid on it and then we go and put it in the other room and we watch the crystals grow. Of course, we're not going to sit there and watch them for 48 hours because we all have something better to do. I feel like a mixologist right now. I guess I kind of am. This right here is something that my dad has always been worried about. And I guess anybody that pans gold can be worried about this. Losing gold, because sometimes gold can float. If gold is dry, you know, like flakes, if it's dry and you put it in water, it'll float. I'm going back through this just to make sure we got everything. So hopefully, hopefully we're not going to find anything. Because if we find something, then that means that we lost gold. And that's bad. I have ran everything back through. Now is for the moment of truth. There should not be any gold. Oh, and I don't see any. Here is the gold. And I am currently in the process of heating this thing up to get rid of all the water. So once that water is gone, I'll take that gold and I'll put it on some, uh, some black paper. 
Actually, I should do white paper first, make sure I get all, all the black sand, huh? Just a regular piece, regular piece of paper. That would be fine. This is exciting. Look at that. Gold. There's gold in Don Damn Dear Stove there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want to try not to disturb this. I wanted to follow up and show you guys what we got going on in here. This right here is the GoPro. And it is recording time lapse of the crystals growing. And that's how I've got it all set up. So I just wanted to show that to you guys. Got to make sure not to turn the light on in here. Although, once uh, once the daylight comes, it'll you know change the lighting in the room. But as far as like nighttime, I don't want the footage to be dark and all of a sudden, bing, lights on. Oh no, don't want to do that. Hi. Are we relaxing? First comment of the night, congratulations, goes to Natalia Paradiso. He said, great vlog, happy new year to all the Hellions, and you were first. That's awesome. John John 9111 check in the case of Goodies Troy. I sent you for your first GoPro. You may need um, an outer case for the Hero 7 if it didn't come with one. Um, it did come with one. And uh, yeah, thank you. That's how I got that mount earlier in the vlog. The Grinch, don't know what number I am, but hi, and I'm a Grinch. Well, that, your name says so. Mon E. Ah, Phoenix, we love you too. Judy Hart, finger on the mic. <laughs> LOL. Shay's Tiny Corner of the Interwebs, we love you too, Phoenix. Francis Royer, wow, your new cam is amazing. Everything's so much sharper and even brighter. Enjoy your new, to your new toy. Yes, oh my gosh, I am. I love this thing. I'm, it's growing on me every day. Uh, you also have an amazing day with Phoenix, I did. Carrie Ann Olson, um, it's 31 degrees in Reed City. Okay, uh, Mia Two Beady Eyes, we love you too, Phoenix. You're a great little Kai. Don Shaw, very good camera, wonderful sound, great stability, and excellent picture clarity. Oh, well, thank you. Um, oh, uh, I am dealing with audio, though. I've, I've tried to tweak and peek it in this vlog, so you guys kind of roll with me and uh, bear with me while I try to normalize the audio and try to figure out how to make it sound better than, than it sounds when it comes straight off the camera. Tony Fredrickson, you answered my COC question, my A-L-E-X-A -E said Halloween Hellmouth. Good job. I didn't want to say it because I didn't want to trigger all the uh, Alexas in the world. Uh, Nicole Flynn, hi Troy, Angie Phoenix, and Fur Babies. Wow, I love Phoenix's green crystal. Oh, I love you too, Phoenix. You are the sweetest little lad. Wow, those price, uh, those price to stay at Thornwood Castle. Oh, the prices to stay at Thornwood Castle are crazy. Yes, yes they are. Angie Hill, oh my, leave you alone for a day and you're climbing inside inflatables. And Joe Poppenhagen responded and said, let's just hope it doesn't evolve into an inflatable doll. You want me to climb inside an inflatable doll? I'm not sure I'm secure enough to do that. Debbie Simpson, happy new year. Troy, Angie, Phoenix, Buffy, and Coda. I'm a little late in the vlogs because of the holidays and stuff, but was catching up tonight and watching the vlog Monster Cock. And when you were asking Alexa questions, mine was answering at the same time yours was. It was too funny. Wishing you all the best in 2019. Thanks, Debbie. And the final comment of the night, which is hollow. Inside that inflatable, you look how I felt today. I spent four hours under the dash of my 2003 caravan replacing the blower motor. Wow, I was thinking that time seemed excessively long, but I just looked up the labor for it. And if it only took you four hours, then you beat book time by 0.6 hours. Uh, blower motor R&R, &R, all models. 4.6 hours skill level B so congratulations that was freaking awesome and you were the last comment to bring this cock to a close so happy on it guys thank you so much for watching we'll see you guys tomorrow tomorrow once again is Angie day so it's gonna be a good day bye happy hauntings from South Shore screams on Maui Hawaii don't forget to subscribe to Halloween Hellmouth or else <laughs> Ha 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 ha!